Welcome back YouTube, VST here and SPC Tech and I have received the very first stable update for my S22 Ultra running on the One UI 5 which means that already November patch is here 710 megabytes and the firmware version is BVKB and it's very interesting because I can't really find a lot of information, even same about firmware, this BVKB firmware is not there. When I just press here on the change lock, we can only see the old and good One UI 5 upgrade change lock. But don't get me wrong here, guys, it is very good to see Samsung already trying to catch up and putting the November update for the Samsung S22 Ultra still in November, which is actually not that bad. What I'm going to do in this video, a full test, guys, home screen animations. We're going to check notifications animations, the blur animations. We're going to do some more home screen tests, the recent menu animation. I'm going to check the app drawer, Twitter, right? That's the thing right now. Twitter scrolling, home scrolling, some famous apps like Telegram, Facebook. I'm going to check how gallery behaves and, of course, some benchmarks, Gink Bench and 3D Mark. And then, of course, guys, camera animations, the camera stutter. And I'm going to give also some first indications on the battery life. So this is going to be an in-depth test of the latest Samsung Galaxy firmware. And if you're here for the first time and you like Samsung Galaxies and firmwares, then that's your channel. So you might want to subscribe for the channel. Thank you very much. And now let's buckle up start the video. First thing I'm going to focus is a home screen animations. But before that, I'm going to enable here the refresh rate. So how do we do that, guys? We need to go inside the settings, scroll down to developers options. And if you just try to search for refresh rate, guys, you're going to be able to find it. Refresh, okay. Show refresh rate. I am going to enable it. And this here will give me an indication on the refresh rate that my phone is using. And by the way, you can already see it. it's very responsive, guys, it's doing a quite nice job. So, back to home screen animations, the very first animation I'm going to start with. And by the way, guys, I'm running WQHD Plus and 120 Hertz, and this animation is looking good. I'm a bit enthusiastic because this animation almost never looks good on my phone. And if you are not a frequent viewer, I don't have a problem with Samsung animations. I like them. I think they're beautiful. I like the complexity, the texture. I like the blur. My only problem is consistency, which means that 10 times when I have to do it, five times it's going to be okay, five times not so good. So consistency, that's the kind of issue. But right now it starts not so bad. So the first home screen animation I can put a check works quite nice. Now let me just check guys the notifications animation. Very nice. And by the way, guys, I optimized my phone using the Galaxy App Booster, which you can do by using the Galaxy Good Guardian. So if you don't know what it is, you can check some of my videos there. A very useful Samsung tool to really keep your phone in shape. So, some more tests, by the way. Yeah, not that bad. And I'm gonna also do the test here in uh, the landscape mode, because this one was bad as well. Oh, wow. Definitely improvements, guys. You can now go and check my last animation video. I just did it a couple of days ago. Definitely, this is smoother. This animation was awful, and now I think it's quite nice. All right, good. The first observation, so far, not so bad. Let me now go back to notifications animations. All right, quite a nice story, I would say. Now, quick settings, wow, oh wow. Fast, 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 really very, very fast, guys. And um, now let's just check what happens with the blur. All right, blur animations, very, very nice. Okay, not a problem at all. The blur applied very gradually, there is no hiccups and etc. So it all looks quite nice, guys. And just try to do some more home screen tests. I'm just going to navigate here to access my Google feed. Wasn't that bad at all. All right, now let me just go and cycle through my home screens. Yep, not that bad. Let me just try to open some widgets for a change. Beautiful animation. Okay, one more time. The widgets here, my stuck widgets. Um, yeah, I would say, guys, from uh, what I see right now, I am impressed. One more time, this animation, yeah. And I just want to be sure, guys, because, again, this animation was really failing big time here, but good work, Samsung. You probably did something. I have to give you some credits. You probably optimized something. Guys, now 
Let's look at the recent menu, guys. Perfect, outstanding. This animation was working perfectly since ever. So yeah, not a problem at all. One more time. All right, I would say almost flawless, right? Okay, one more time. Let's check the up drawer. Whew, quick, let's check this. Oh my God, this one even, this one was very poor, um, the previous version, guys. Take a look, yeah. Not that bad at all, guys. Now, let me just try to do the following, guys. Let me show you many applications. I'm gonna close all of them. And what we're gonna do right now, let's try to open some applications. And let's start with Twitter, because why not? Twitter, which we know for Android is very bad. E wow, is it better? I have a feeling it's better, guys. Take a look. Wow, apps opening, apps closing. One more time, Twitter. All right, the up opening animation, can you see it there? Very nice, very smooth, I can say it's, it's very good. And I think the scrolling also somehow improved. Looks really better, but how can we tell it? Just try to open Samsung M. Just let's try to open a busy site. Tell me a busy site, guys. Yeah, okay, let's just open CNN. I, I, yeah, I don't know any other like busy site with a lot of news. So open CNN, scrolling wise, wow. Just see how beautiful this is, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Open, close, open, close. Not a stutter at all. Now, right now, I guess consistency is back. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, let's open Telegram. Okay. Let's try to open also Messenger. All right. Flawless. Okay. Go back. Let's open Viber. Navigate. Oh, flawless. Okay, let's open Facebook. Yeah, not that bad. Not a style, I think this is just like loading things. One more time, Facebook. Whew, okay, and now guys, let's open Instagram. Remember, Instagram was working okay, and the moment you wanna add something, yeah, this animation there, guys. This animation was not that nice, I would say, but yeah, probably, probably not so bad as well, right? Let me know what you think down below in the comments, okay? I think it's improved. Certainly Samsung are just bringing up their A game and I really hope that it's going to just continue like this. Whoa, okay, switching the cameras. All right, not that bad, right? Not that bad at all. Let me just open TikTok as well. All right, see by the way, like how the refresh rate is just playing, guys. Let me just try to add something there. By the way, every time you do launch the camera, you are bound to 60 hertz. And speaking about camera, guys, now let me just try to take the phone in my hand and open close camera. Opening camera, all right, all the modes, back camera, photo, back, okay, closing it, open, close, open, all right, recent menu, close, open, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's just try to see how much of the memory we have, like how much free memory we have because we have opened a lot of applications. It's under battery and device care. So 3.6 gigabytes available, guys. And by the way, pay attention, guys. I am not using RAM Plus because I know some people are interested to see this. And by the way, there is also another interesting statistics. If you have developer options, you can go inside and you can click here the memory usage. It will give you a performance normal. It will give you totally reserved, a bit more of an information. And of course, you can go back in time. And that's kind of interesting. Also, just see individual usage like Android OS. So how much is my Android system using the system UI, the one UI home and yeah, nice, nice stuff. Now let me just try to put the phone in the landscape mode and just try to do some more tests. But definitely this animation is improved. Okay, let me just try to open Telegram again. All right, not an issue at all. Messenger again. Okay. Fiber again. Uh, let me just try to open also Telegram, see what happens. Yeah, Telegram doesn't support this mode, but okay, it is what it is. So let me just try to exit. Okay, back to the story. Recent menu, okay. And now let's just try to do a bit more of extensive testing. So how do I do this, guys? I'm gonna hold this up here and I'm gonna put it there to open a split screen, let's say with Facebook. So, yep, all nice, right? I cannot really complain, guys. One more time, gonna go and this time put it there. And this time, guys, I'm just try to open Facebook. Okay, so yeah. 
No, you said, oh no, I'm gonna go to the recent menu, guys, and I'm going to take Telegram and put it as a pop-up window, okay? Just trying to see how the phone is going to behave, but I can tell you, I don't see any issue whatsoever. Close everything, okay, open it one more time. Just going to take it, put it there again as a pop-up. So how does this work? Hold it here, put it like this, and then move it away. And by the way, guys, you can also do this like this. So I opened, let's say, my camera. I'm just gonna take the finger, boom. Now I have a pop-up camera. And what really drives me crazy, guys, this is here, not a gimmick. You can just see I'm talking to the camera, so it works. And this is really how powerful Samsung One UI is, right? So, so far, so good. I would say the preliminary tests are very good. Now it's time for some Geekbench. So, all right, let me just close everything. And let me also see, guys, the temperature. So CPU monitor, guys. I'm using the CPU monitor to check my temps. Right now, running at 38, it's not that bad at all. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go inside the Good Guardians. Okay, good guardians and in case you don't know what thermal guardian is then you might want again to check these videos but it will eventually allow your phone to run hotter right and does deal with throttling so i will now give my phone one plus on the thermal threshold which means it will allow itself to run hotter so it will not cap my performance and of course if you don't like your phone being so hot yeah you can always put it down you know what i'm going to increase my thermal threshold with two percent from the default because you know winter is coming so not a problem at all and now it's time for some fun with geekbench usually you know after installing the ROM and playing with my phone, I get bad results. Uh, I think it's understood, right? It needs more time to optimize. I don't really care. Let me just see how much we're gonna get this time. And yeah, here we are. Nothing so uncommon, guys. I will really retest in two days and probably gonna get about the same. And in fact, if I just go and show you my history, we'll probably going more than 1000 something yeah i can just see yeah, sometimes i'm getting results like this but you need to understand that's a phone that i use as a daily driver and i really test my phones and i really put them through a lot so usually this is something like this that you're gonna get and now let's also try to run 3d mark by the way the phone still feels not so hot which is not that bad so update required let me just download everything and i'm going to run here a wildlife but the wildlife actually extreme test so let me just try to see how this will end up One thousand seven hundred and ninety. and by the way the phone doesn't really feel still hot average frame rate almost 11 uh, okay, let me just see the performance monitoring, guys. Wow, the battery didn't really drop by a tiny bit and the temperature actually didn't really raise. So not that bad at all, guys. Now some final testing. Yes, okay, you have to just see. Certainly uh, this animation flawless. I mean, this wasn't the case before. Honestly, Yes, I have to congratulate Samsung One OI team. I think, guys, you are doing a, all right, let's not say great, but decent job. So just please keep updating One UI. Make it better, guys. I think this is what we deserve. For all my viewers, thank you so much for coming back. For all the new viewers, thank you for joining. You are here at the right time, watching hopefully the right content. VST over and bye.